We've got a Fox News alert. Uh, America's Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin arriving in Israel earlier this morning. He's expected to meet with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in just a couple of minutes. All right, the meeting comes as IDF troops trap a Hamas leader dubbed Gaza's bin Laden. Trey Yanks is live for us in southern Israel this morning. Good morning, Trey. Yeah, hey guys, good morning. It's day 73 of the war between Israel and Hamas. We are outside Israel's defense ministry in Tel Aviv, where the families of hostages have gathered to call once again for their release. Over the weekend, Israeli forces discovering a new tunnel in the northern part of the Gaza Strip. You can see in this video here, it spans for more than two miles and goes 150 feet underground. It's also equipped with electricity and ventilation, but does not enter Israeli territory. The discovery comes as Israeli troops continue to operate across Gaza. In the Jabalia neighborhood, troops located $1.3 million worth of Israeli currency in suitcases in a senior Hamas leader's house. The Hamas-run Palestinian Health Ministry reports dozens of Gaza were killed in this area amid Israeli strikes over the weekend. Local media reported that crews were still searching under the rubble for survivors. Israeli forces also striking a number of sites where Hamas fighters were located, including a cell in the city of Khan Yunis and a sniper position in a separate compound. The ground activity comes as U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin is in Israel today to meet with top officials. Later on, he'll hold a joint press conference here in Tel Aviv with Israel's Defense Minister Yoav Gallant. The pair expected to discuss ongoing regional threats from Iran-backed actors, as well as the situation in Gaza. Questions today do remain, though, about Israel's northern border with Lebanon. New tax attacks this morning from the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah. Guys, back to you. So, so Trey, it looks like what, in the video that we showed, it looked like they were digging, the Israelis were digging up sand and found the end of part of the tunnel or an access point to the tunnel. Obviously, somebody had to tip them off unless they're using some sort of underground sonar or radar to figure out where it was, right? Yeah, so the Israelis control now this part of the Gaza Strip, and they're uncovering this type of infrastructure each and every day. The size and location of this tunnel, though, is significant. It's just 1,200 feet into Gazan territory. And it's very close to where Israeli forces were every day at the Erez crossing, a crossing that Palestinian workers used before October 7th to enter Israel to work in some of the farms and locations in southern Israel. And so the location is remarkable. And when you look at the video, it does raise questions about how Israeli intelligence didn't catch this when they were digging it. Yeah. You know what's amazing, Trey, is that some of the hostages are recommending to the IDF do not, the ones that have been freed, do not go down into the tunnels. They have to go down into the tunnels. They're just worried about the fate of, they're worried about the fate of the hostages if they do go down there. Can you explain? Yeah, absolutely. It's a major concern. We've been in the tunnels with the Israeli military underneath Gaza. We saw tun tunnels underneath the Shifa hospital just last <clears> month. And the Israelis are still facing the threat from Hamas inside Gaza. The factions, including Islamic Jihad in the Strip, have released new video over the weekend showing them ambushing Israeli forces using the tunnel network inside Gaza. There's other locations where Israeli troops have died since the ground operation began because they entered a tunnel that was booby-trapped and ultimately Hamas exploded the tunnel. And so it's an incredibly complex battlefield for the Israelis. They understand that some of the hostages are being held inside the tunnel network. And as you noted, some of the hostages that were freed as part of that ceasefire deal in late November have warned Israeli forces don't go into the tunnels. It is a network of complex and extensive locations across the Strip. All right, Trey Yingst live in southern Israel. Trey, thank you very much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.